After we finished tuning the entire rig, which you saw in the last episode, we finished off a few more jobs before we could leave the anchorage. During the hurricane, one of the main salon windows became dislodged, so we removed it completely and re-bedded it with Seekerflex SG20. We also noticed that we were getting too much of a voltage drop between the solar charge controller and the batteries, so we relocated them to be right next to the battery bank. Identify one red one and one black one and take them together with green. They'll go to one solar panel set. Just make sure the red goes to the black and she should be fucking sweet. You want to pull one because I've got too much wire here. Pull it more. 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 Okay, now pull a black. Okay, perfect, keep pulling, keep pulling. Okay, I'll take this with green. While we were at it, we installed a Xantrix battery monitor and connected this directly to the batteries. So finally we're leaving. We're done, all the rigging's done. Day one. The adventure has begun. <laughs> There's a big sailing regatta on here in Saint in, in Martinique. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go around the corner and uh, meet up with all the other boats. The race finished in Limarin, so we raced ahead of the regatta and got an anchorage right inside the bay to get front row seats at the finish line. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, actually I'm fairly ready. Whenever you have a question whatsoever, don't message me where I agree. <laughs> And whenever you have a question, you just message me. Excited okay. to see your family. Yeah. Bye, Eddie. Goodbye. <laughs> see you, brother. Be good. Good meeting you. It's been a pleasure. Take it easy. Bye bye. <laughs> Safe trip. See you later, brother. Yeah. Thanks for everything, eh? No worries. Later, mate. All good. Camera and camera. <laughs> oh, Hi. it's a bit weird seeing it sail away. Happy videographer. 
we're fucked. Yeah, we're saying goodbye. Huh? We're saying goodbye. It's never, never fun, is it? But he's on to his next adventure yet. I think he wants to start documenting his life. And he wants to get people to vote, vote for him, to vote for where he goes next. So he's going to travel that way. It's a cool concept. Hopefully it works out. It's done a lot for us and I'm, I'll be forever grateful for that. And what's going to happen now with your life production? Well, we're going to shut it down. It's over. <laughs> Nah, you're gonna take over. So we'll have to step up our game. So how do you feel about this leaving? To be honest, a little bit stressed, a little bit nervous about the challenge. I want to be able to produce something good like him, you know? Telling telling a good story. Also sad because somehow he was company, you know, and the only long term person At only 22 years old, joining Parley was the first opportunity Eric had to focus solely on his two passions, travelling and making videos. It was a pleasure to watch him grow as a videographer, as he produced our first five videos all the while training Maria to be his successor after he left. So right now we actually tried to uh, bleed the tuna properly. I think we didn't find the right technique yet as my face says. <laughs> that is so disgusting. His time sailing with us had come to an end, and he will now focus on producing content for his own channel while traveling the world. We have so much to thank Eric for here at Parlay Revival, and the time he put into working with us on creating this channel and telling our story will never be forgotten. Now we're leaving Martinique after about a month here, doing work, rigging and stuff like Finally. that. Finally! Finally we're leaving. And we're going to St. Lucia. Just a quick stop there and then we're going to go to St. Vincent. What do you want? Yell out when you're about to put the sail up and get the fishing rods ready. Right over. Everyone meet Jamie, the fishing guru. Oh, fuck off. He's throwing a couple of lines out, and they're both birds nesting within about five minutes. <laughs> what are you running here? <laughs> Fucking birds nest. What happened, mate? Mate, that big one just broke the line. We're about 30 seconds from our anchorage, and we've got two reels out of action right now. caught a fish, the biggest one we've seen since I've been on the boat. Well, I think that's the only thing we're going to see until you leave. <laughs> Next time you say I have a chicken on the end. <laughs> we're in St. Lucia, it's absolutely beautiful. We're gonna anchor near the pitons, which is a couple of volcanoes. How is the sail going today? It's good. Now that you've come up, the wind has just picked up. <laughs> so we're doing seven and a half knots, which is nice. Yeah. 
We had not even arrived at the anchorage before two local boys came flying out to us in their dinghies, yelling at us to take one of their moorings. They then proceeded to argue with each other when we agreed to take one of the boys' moorings, and it was quite an unpleasant introduction to St. Lucia. We then felt unwelcome and slightly uneasy at the anchorage, so we decided to leave for St. Vincent. Quite a shame considering how absolutely beautiful the country looked from a distance. It was then time for Jamie to put his money where his mouth was and actually get something edible on the end of his line. Shadow Belair was our first stop in St. Vincent and the locals here were a breath of fresh air after our St. Lucia experience. We felt extremely safe here and the locals agreed to take us on a guided hike to an amazing waterfall for a very reasonable fee. Oh, you got our lion fish in there. Uh, this is a grouper. Uh, these fish are on Shaka Belair's ready to Touch and it's closed. Memos. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you touch it, it's closed. You touch, it closed. 